Mina, Kanbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, coming at you with Nehemiah chapter 10, and strangely enough, I got a little something out of the boring part of this chapter. It's one of those listed names type things. And we're going to start with um, verse 1 in chapter 10. Now those who placed their seal on the document were Nehemiah the governor, the son of Hekeliah, and Zedekiah, Sariah, Azariah, Jeremiah, don't click out of this just yet, Pasher, Amariah, Melchijah, Hattush, Shebaniah, Maluk. And I'll stop there before you just want to click away in desperation. Hopefully you have not clicked away just yet. The reason I read that, when I read this doc, when I, I said this document, well, the Bible is a document. It's an ancient historical document. This is simply an English translation of said document. All of these men <clears throat> signed a covenant with God, and they signed a document. And in the rest of chapter 10, feel free to read it. You can see what that document had to do with. And essentially, it had to deal with keeping the commandments of God, upkeeping the, the new temple, making sure the priests and the Levites were fed, making sure that provisions were made to upkeep the temple of God, and provisions were there to put the tithes in the storehouse of God's temple, etc., etc., etc. But when you sign a document and you put your name to it, like you're, you're publicly saying in front of all the people you've signed it with and in front of all the people you've signed it in front of, and I can view the document, you're saying, hey, as a leader, this is what I'm committing to. This is what I'm going to do. I am pledging that I will be loyal to the things written down in this document. And the first thing that came to my mind as an American were all of the signatures that went to the Declaration of Independence. I mean, and... I don't know how similar it is. I know that when they signed the Declaration of Independence, that was them putting their lives on the line, saying we are rebelling against the King of England. We're doing our own thing. And while they weren't necessarily rebelling against the King of, I think it was Assyria at this point? Was it Assyria that took over Babylon? Shame on me. I feel like I should definitely remember this. No, Persia. At least, it, well, that's all the way back in the book of Ezra. I turned way too far back there. But then again, I think Nehemiah and, Nehemiah and Ezra were compatriots, so it's not like they were there at separate times. They were both there at the beginning of the restoration of Jerusalem and the wall and the temple. They were, all there, they were both there together, them and all the other people that were with them who signed this document. And they were, there were people who wanted their lives. Even though they weren't in rebellion against their particular king, the king of Persia, they, there were people who wanted them dead, who wanted to see them done, who wanted to see the work stopped. So they put their name on this document, and they were putting their lives on the line, saying we're going to live for our God, we're going to do all these things that the law of Moses tells us to do, and regardless of the cost, we're going to do this. And that takes devotion and dedication and love and loyalty and all those other wonderful virtues that uh, we love to treasure, value, and esteem. So in the middle of a bunch of names that, am I going to remember any of them? Probably only Nehemiah and Ezra, to be honest. I think there was a Zedekiah in there too. But anyway, I do remember the point of what they signed. I remember why they signed it, because of their love for their God and their devotion to what wasn't a nation just yet at that time, well, it did become a nation again, um, at least in the time of Jesus and in the time of um, the Maccabees. It became a nation at those times. And even now, today, it is a nation yet again. It just won't go away because God won't let them because God has a plan for them. So yeah, those men... Um, that, that's inspirational. It's, it's inspiring. It was a reminder of my country's foundation, and it was a reminder of the cost that needs to be paid when you want to create something. And that's just, that's really special to me. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.